Mapping and exploring an underwater mountain range can tell you a lot about the tectonic plate underneath. Hotspot volcanoes form at thin places in the crust, hotspots, where molten hot magma from the mantle is piped upward through the Earth's crust and hits the ocean water, forming ever-growing mountains of solidified lava. Over millions of years, as tectonic plates drift across a hotspot, the process starts again, forming a series of seamounts and islands known as a chain, with the youngest closest to the hotspot and the oldest furthest away. The trend, or connect the dots direction of a seamount chain, matches the movement direction of the tectonic plate below. There are so many hotspots and seamounts in the Pacific Basin, an estimated 50,000, that it could be hard to trace their geologic history. Collecting rocks from the seafloor and analyzing them in a research lab can tell us how and when they were formed, and if they relate to nearby seamounts. The Hawaiian Emperor Seamount Chain is an excellent example of this process. As the tectonic plate moves northwest, active volcanism creates a seamount chain and, in some cases like Hawaii, islands that eventually erode and subside into underwater seamounts over millennia.